What's up guys, this is House Room Slays here with um a multiplayer battle I fought yesterday with some members of Dark Angel Gaming. Here's my army. I'm playing as the High Elves. I got a bunch of archers and these guys end up helping me out a lot. And um help me these guys are good. They are decent. Um let's see a look at Lewis's army, the head person Dark Angel Gaming. He's playing as the Elves of Lorian. So his arm is mainly hitting. He kind of got the bad end of the stick when he um got spawned it there. And here's Pedro playing as Gondor. He has a pretty nice army. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that now. So let's see. I at first what I do is I kind of see what pa Pedro he rushes into things like what Lewis says. But um, I kind of wait for a while, see what happens. And um, Lewis is smart. He's a genius when it comes to this kind of stuff. So he sends some troops over here in case I try to counter him. He sends these guys. But uh, we all put spikes up, but none of us have cavalry. We do not do cavalry in our multiplayer battles. It sucks. Cavalry sucks. He has these guys. And I'm. Let's see. He gets all. He's smart. Pedro gets smart, so he gets all his archers on um, loose formation, so he can't be. He'll have his losses at a minimum. So I'm kind of new to commentating these online battles. And, um. Speed up a little. Whew. I think at some point I sent about three melee units. There we go. To help Pedro out against Lewis. But that this is one of my biggest mistakes of making this. This is the biggest mistake I make in this battle. And sending out. These guys, because I send out one of these guys, which are one of my best units, but I have as my general unit too, but this isn't my general unit. So, I'm sending these guys out to, I at this point I haven't seen the units over here, because they were hidden. Um, see they're hidden. And... He is um, engaging Pedro, Lewis is, with some fire arrows. He just keeps, he just hammers Pedro with these fire arrows, his archers. Pedro, um, he can't breach him, but he's not elves. <laughs> and, let's see, that unit went away. I got my guys who are getting pounded too. I was thinking, since he once I engage him in melee combat with the archers, I'd be fine. But yeah, you'll see later on in the battle, the archers, elven archers, can win a, me a melee battle. No, win a battle through melee, no matter what. I mean, no competition. I don't know really what to say to that, but they can easily win a battle with win a battle for you with your melee use. Um. I send these guys out, hopefully to hammer an anvil on but he has these guys moving to counter me. Wow, he's smart because Pedro is not attacking quite yet. He's just forming up and just trying to get to a point where he can fire his archers. And these, I think uh, all of the Florian archers get, get a bonus in the woods, so... So here's half his army with like a fraction of my army in melee. And um, basically what he does is he see, tries to send his guys through that gap right there to engage these guys. To make a gap where he can send these guys to flank these guys. Which I don't know if that was planned or no one loose it probably was. But or, I don't know. 
Okay. Yeah, there's those guys, Rangers, moving out. Which, Lewis is a cool guy. You gotta play with him at some... He's one of those Total War players that you need to play with. I don't know if he's up for that, but... Prince, he could own Prince of Macedon. Prince of Macedon only shows the victories he wins. Which, we're, we don't do at Dark Angel Gaming, but this... I do win this battle. Just, uh, spoiler alert. But I'm gonna, if these people start liking me doing these multiplayer battles, I'll start showing them. Because the only, I, the only um better person, if there is anyone at third age than Lewis, is um John Music Man 101. He's pretty damn good. But Lewis is the best. We can't do it anymore. But Lewis is the best at um, what's it called? Call of Warhammer. And I'm trying right now to get these guys. I'm right now moving my archers up to get cover because I know I, at this point I thought I lost the battle just by that stupid move. And um, hmm. I'm trying to get these guys to break off from there and flank these guys, but they keep the Pathfinder stupid and tries to engage them. And right now I'm moving my archers up. To engage, and I'm moving these guys up to defend them in case anyone tries. I'm moving, I'm splitting my archers. I'm trying to move them half to Lewis, half to Pedro. And when Pedro advances, it works to my benefit because my archers are, I'll show you later, are starting to run out of ammo when he starts to advance. And I have guardian archers, I think that's what they're calling. Let's see what they're called. No. No. Er, yeah, Eruin Archers. And they're beasts. These guys are beasts too. These guys, no. Yeah, these guys. No, no more archers right there. Right there. Those guys and those guys. They're just owning them. And he's... Engages my archers so he wouldn't have any furniture. And see, these guys are raping me. See, look. All those dead, my guys. See, the color of my capes. The color of their capes on the ground. All gold and black. So, at this point, oh, I was going to call a truce with Lewis, but last time I did that, he I kind of betrayed him and won the battle. So he wanted to call a truce so he could go help fight Page. He w it wasn't Pedro he was fighting; it was John. And he, John, he, Lewis was playing as the High Elves, and um, I was playing as Gondor, and John was playing as um, what's it called, Harad. And he, w which Harad, um, Gondor, what I was, <laughs> what am I trying to say, um. Lewis was started in the middle again, so he kind of got ambushed. He, Lewis has a bad habit of has a cursed habit of being started in the middle. So, um, he, what happened was he we I had half my army hidden in the woods, and so I was just um had all my special units and had two units of swan knights and a unit of what's the Italian rangers hidden in the woods. So here I am trying to send these guys to engage Pedro to help Lewis out a little, to help him both of them out. What happened was we just decided to call a truce. So I hid my guys in the woods, let them rest up. Then once the battle, both their generals were dead, and it looked like oh, what's his name was gonna win, John, I send my spawn knights up silently and engage them and win the battle. Yay for Gondorian and spawn knights. There is one battle I won, but I don't consider it a win, because we promised never to speak of it again. It was a Call of Warhammer, and it involved something that started with a T, and it wasn't Trolls. And it was... If you play Call of Warhammer, you'll know what I'm talking about. And see here, they're starting to get, um, fight, engage in the middle, and what Pedro does is he moves his archers, once he wins this fight flank over here, he moves his archers on this hill, in this hill, which is a proves to be a great idea because once he surrounds Lewis, he just don't, keeps hammering and hammering him. And this battle is the longest lasting battle in the game right here. The 
um, ah, the match. Let's take a look over here. See, he's still firing at these guys, and he's got my guys basically surrounded. This tree's Christmas tree is blocking it. He's got my guys basically surrounded. I can't even find them. Yeah, hold on. I have four men left, yeah. And this is when I think I was about to move my guys out or retreat them, but you can't. You couldn't retreat them. I'm oh, sorry. Um, you online to or no right here I was just uh, having all my archers fire on here so because I knew I was gonna lose these guys so he could sooner go attack the flank Pedro right here let's take a look at this flank right here oh, I knew I had been over here right here I have my other guys engaging here I think this is when my archers come into play here is my spearman. I would should have. Now that I think about it, I should have got him to come here, but that wouldn't have helped from what I did get to go there. I have him go here, which was stupid because I have all my archers firing here, and now I'm in cover to handle them. He's won the battle over here, so he's sending his troops down here to help out here. And where my where's my bodyguard? My hammer guard guard. Here I have my sword pointy. Just they're holding their own against these spearmen, awesomely. They I'm surprised how long they hold their own. And where's my spearmen? My here I have these guys kind of cornered. And I think this is where I have my hammer guys. Yeah, here. These guys. Uh, these guys are beasts. This is my general unit, Smith Elves. They end up helping me so much in this battle, it's unbelievable. Um, I don't know if these are like it's Elven. All Elven units, I think, are special. Not like special, special, but like elite units. Instead of the sword pointy and stuff you start out with. Because once you get the military report in the Elven campaign, you're you're overpowered OP to the max and at this point we're like yeah Paige is gonna win and because of your sheer sheer manpower and let's take it all and he hasn't even would at this point um Lewis has already got his half his unit things and I haven't for some reason I never get my units um ha lost half my men so until the very end And another video I need y'all to check out is just a gr I have a good um good movie battle sieges things, but they're nowhere as good as the ones we do like this for Dark Angel Gaming for um online. We do online Dark Angel Gaming. It's on the channel Dark Angel Gaming 24, and we do yeah. There's there's Lewis and um. That's Lewis losing half his men. We do the Minas Tirith, the Pelinar Fields, which is epic. Minas Tirith has like 80,000 views. It's really good. And we do the Battle of the Last Alliance, which is me and Lewis. Me and Lewis always seem to team up. I don't know why. But we can't do the um, Battle of Helm's Deep where it would be like visually stunning or visually epic. Because you can only have one Urkai army. In the other, however, other one, many other ones you have, they start in the hills. I think they did that on purpose. I don't know why. So it wouldn't be a multiplayer thing. But what we tried to do is have two units inside and just one OP Urkai army, and we still own them because we had too many elves. We had like five units of elves. There's Pedro. What I mean, if you have any suggestions, please let us know. But, but we're always open to suggestions and all that. I am too. But I'll put the link in the, for Dark Angel Gaming 24 in the channel. My comment link. Here he comes. What I don't understand is why he didn't in, move around and engage the, them from here. And have his archer. Or, what are those? Yeah, those are spearmen. Spearmen are like against archers. But, um. 
He just has a mosh pit once he wins this fight. And my Smiths are still holding their own. It's amazing. And luckily, Lewis takes out his, most of his Swan Knights for me. Here's my Smiths. At this point, they're they're retired, obviously. I have them go engage the archers. And that when I, I right now I was starting to think I was gonna lose. I was I was almost certain I was gonna lose, so I started blowing my horn a lot. And that's nothing sexual. And right here is where my archers start losing arrows. So I have them run up here. I don't tell Pedro until about the very last minute. So he's running up here to engage his archers. And he's like, once I tell him, he's like, yeah, no, that's not a big problem. That's just archers. But let me tell you, these elven archers are the shit. They are the shit it it. And here are my guys. I think they're about to route right here. And see, they're getting. And someone told me they're females in these this group. Yeah, here they route. I think they're female arch. That was in some of the groups, high elves. Yeah. See, they have. She has boobies. She has boobies. See? And she's braided. Um. She has. And here, my. He's. This is when I tell him. And he sends these guys to engage them. Why? I don't know. But. See? Gondor's blowing their horn. Where's my Smiths? See, look at what my Smiths have done. That is awesome. Taking a picture of that. Um, here's my Sword Quindy and stuff. And I think these are Numenorean and the Sword Guardians. Kind of look like first stage stuff there. At this point, I didn't know how well what's it called our archers are good. They only lost four men. And most of that's from archer fire. So, and Gondorian archers just have regular swords, and they're not that good. See, let's look at it. Who do you think is gonna win? Ooh, no, no, no. Okay. Good tidings. I think that's Lewis's general. And I get these guys because I won this battle over here with lots of lives lost. And let's see. Starting, this is a free for all, no pun intended, right here. We're, me and Lucas are double teaming this one night. And for some reason, Lewis pointed this out. None of us ever do evil armies when we play as campaign. I mean, not campaign. Um, online. But that me and Lewis had a battle, and he played as the orcs, and we just. Yeah. We. There's Pedro General. We um, I did the Isengard, and he did the orcs of the Misty Mountain or the goblins, and he we realized why we never do it because he once he was killing me, then I got one of his um. Like units to route it and they all started wavering and stuff and our and plus I don't think that battle was really fair because I took out a whole archer unit with bomb throwers, so I had two bomb throwers and I only used one of them, so I retreated the second one out of the battle or where it was unusable. And we, it was in a mountain pass, which was kind of yeah. There's half my force, um. And, I don't know. See, I'm just blowing my horn because that's all I can do right now. You know, I'm thinking, um, let's like, to go, this is where Pedro gets his archers on the hilltop and has his mosh pit. 
I don't think I have any men left over here. I have these guys. These guys aren't that good in melee combat. Even though they're archers. They're elven archers. But the thing about elven troops is they're so fucking expensive. Here, I'm using these guys. Um, originally was going to attack Lewis, but then I we decided I should attack Pedro. Not we, like, Lewis was like, why are you attacking me? And I was like, attack the archer. He was like, attack the archers. And I was like, okay, I got like right here. And then we're like, meh. Let's speed it up a little. See, I, this is where I do it. Those guys do look pretty cool though. The samurai weapon type thing. Get like right here, then take one of those. Okay. Mm hmm. I veer off and take some. See, move your off. Some of them, the Pathfinder effect. And right here, this is a free for all. It looks like a Dwarven Warhammer. He just kicked him. You see that? <laughs> in the balls! He just kicked him in the balls. And he died. I wouldn't want to be kicked by him. I thought maybe it was a shield butt. Come on. Kick him in the balls again. No! Yeah, okay. Yeah. That was him. That was him. I guess they are everywhere. This guy gets so much here, I bet he dies. I hope they have a better, like, fighting style, like, fighting AI thing. And. Rome Total War 2, like where someone can fight two guys if he's really good. That'd be cool. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. Here. It's a mosh pit. I have these guys attacking here. These are my other missile units. So this is proves that elves are OP. Okay, let's see what else. Here's my heavy swordsman. This is a big part of the battle too. This line, I'm right there. That's this is the path where my smiths have followed. They started here, then they got outflanked the other people, Gondor, and they started here, they moved up here. That's what Smiths do. It's awesome. Where are they? There they are. They barely lost any men. Don't these guys just look badass? They look like princes. Elven princesses. Princes. What's the plural for Prince? Prince I? Uh, it's kind of... At this point, I declare him a victory.
There's my name, password is Taco, if you know. Toku? I spelled it wrong, I was kind of drunk. I think I spelled it wrong. Yeah. Okay. There's Pedro. Time to press the attack. Let's speed it up. Two. Now that's how you spell it, because that's how he spells his name. Taco from the league. I think that's how he spells his name. Alright. And let me show you the, um... Battle screen. Pretty neat. I barely lose at any of my men. Speed up your rid of this battle. And a one. Look at that. Password is taco. I'll very I lost 837. Look how many they got. Hey, I had just, just amazing. All right, see you guys later.